So, while we took a short break from Races to Places, I hope that in the few days of sun we've been dealt here in the UK, and hopefully the rest of the world has too, all you adventure riders have donned your kit and got out on the trails. Seven of Races to Places. We at Adventure Spec would like to give a massive thanks to all of our Patreon supporters that have made it possible to push the episodes from 10 minutes to 15 minutes. Thank you. So, as Season 6 of Races to Places closed, Lyndon and Battle Bike made camp in the stunning Australian scenery. You've got one life to live, don't let it go. Can you let go? Let go. The hillside, the mountains, the twat winding rough road, all holes in the tarmac. This reminds me of Indonesia. Byron Bay, which is the most eastern point on mainland Australia, and uh, the weather's really nice, which is good. And uh, it's time to take a couple of days to go riding up in Fraser Island and hanging out on the east coast a little bit uh, before heading back across the centre across to Perth. So here we are, anyway, the most easterly point on mainland Australia. Next stop, most westerly point on mainland Australia. I hope Lyndon has packed his speedos. This is one epic looking beach. Hey. Are you traveling the coast on this? Um, traveling around the world, yeah. No? Like where, are you like sleeping at hostels or are you like just like finding a place to camp? Camp. Camp? Yeah. How do you do it? Because I'm, I'm trying to do the same thing but I don't, mine's not really as, uh, as too yeah, man just, as yours. I just come all the way from Adelaide, nine nights, I've not paid anything for accommodation, really? yeah. Just camped out. Yeah, never stay in places like this. It costs too much money. No, I know. Just like, just come and have a look, and then go back off into the countryside again. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What bike is that? Is it an ER6? Um, no, that's well. I guess yeah, it's an ER6, but it's a, it's called 650R here. It's yeah. A, maybe something like a Versus would be better. Yeah, it'd definitely be better. I, I'm able to have a good. Cool. Day. Yeah, and you. See you. Everywhere you go in Australia, you see a different species of ant. And it seems to me that the bigger they are and the faster they move and the more red they are, the more evil they are. That is an inch long. And those little blighters, look at it looking at me. One of them's just bitten my foot. Probably doesn't help that I parked my motorcycle where what appears to be right on top of an ant's nest. Six o'clock in the morning, beautiful day, perfect temperature, and I'm right in the middle of the forest, not on a track or anything. And here we can see the charging station, charging on my things via USB, so I charge everything on places to places. to get back aboard Basel heading north, where the boys will take a ferry to Fraser Island. Fifty bucks 
for about five minutes. In, in Indonesia, it costs about 10 bucks for 18 hours crossing. <laughs> Listed island located along the southeastern coast of the state of Queensland, Australia, and is considered to be the largest sand island in the world at 1,840 square kilometers. So, there's the remains of the Mahina shipwreck. There's a real interesting story about this ship. Started out life a long, long time ago. It was converted to a hospital. Then it was converted to a luxury cruise liner. Yeah, it got washed up here apparently. You know, caught in a hurricane. And that's where it rests today. So nice to get the boots off after riding in all the hot sand. Time to go for a swim in Lake Mackenzie. Looks like today, Lyndon is getting to throw his leg over an iconic Australian posty bike. After a fun stay at Scotty's, the boys are going to make their way from the east to the centre of Australia. Just heading out into the desert. Uh, this morning my gear shifter broke. Probably got about oh, a lot of kilometres on it. 80,000 kilometers. Um, I've just done a quick botch on it with a Jubilee clip. This is the harsh reality of the Australian outback. You see one of these roos dead on the road probably every, every 500 meters or so. So I just stopped next to this huge mound of dirt here to try and uh, show you the size of some of the termite mounds like this one. You know it's, it's hitting in the 40s today and uh, there's lots of cattle just laying in the shade but unfortunately for some of them like this one 
it wasn't enough. Hello. How are you? You can see there's no scrub, just sun, and all the trees are burned. There's Basil at the state border post. Just stopped to get some water and put some electrolytes in it. Keep hydrated, it's really important out here. Touchwood bike's going well. Um, just trundling my way west and here's a little sign just telling us that this is um, indigenous aboriginal land yep and you need a permit to ride here next time on races to places linden heads up the gun barrel highway <laughs> 